I'm Vice Admiral Dean Muborn. I'm the Deputy Commander of U.S. Transcom. There's a friend of mine that used to say, you know, logistics isn't rocket science. It's much harder. And he's right. Logistics is much harder. Whether we're carrying COVID vaccine, whether we're taking people out of Afghanistan, or whether we're delivering combat power somewhere, someplace in the world, all of these things we do every single day. Uh, my first day in the Navy um, started in the summer of 1978 in what we call Plebe Summer there at the Academy. I remember it being very hot and humid. I remember um, thinking this is going to be a long summer. But I also remember thinking, you know, um, I think I found exactly what I was meant to do. Years later, I, I stumbled upon a, a, a quote from Mark Twain, who said that two most important days in our lives are the, the day that we were born and the day we found out why. And, uh, and I, I do believe that, that, that Mark Twain was right and that I was born to serve in the Navy. I was drawn to the Navy because I wanted to serve at sea. My dad was a destroyer man in World War II. He would tell me stories about uh, escorting merchant ships in what we now call the Battle of the Atlantic. He told me enough and uh, that, that I was inspired, I think, to, to want to pursue the Naval Service. So when I went to the Naval Academy, I went there thinking that I want to go on ships. And I remember seeing this poster of an aircraft carrier. It, we've all seen it. It's a head-on view of an aircraft carrier, and it says four and a half acres of sovereign U.S. Ter territory. And I remember saying, you know, I want to be the captain of that. And um, the, the midshipmen that were senior to me said, well, you know, you got to fly airplanes to be the captain of that. I said, okay, well, I'll fly then. So along the path then, I've, I fell in love with aviation, you know, from the, my, my very first flight, you know, down in the VT-10 in, in Pensacola to my very first catapult shot where I remember, you know, just screaming the entire way down the catapult track. My very first uh, night arrested landing, you know, where I thought, oh my God, what just happened? You know I mean? Just all these different images, first low level in an A6, first time I flew in the mountains in an A6, first bombing mission, all these things. I, I just, or just memories now of, of where I just love naval aviation more and more and more. And to the point where now it's it's not, this is, this is gonna, but it's not just, you know, what I do, it, it, I feel like it's who I am. That is a, aviation. I, I, I fly today, uh, general aviation. So I've loved it that much. We have national security needs and we decided in, in the best interest of our nation, our national security, we need to have a very strong armed forces and Transcom is able to provide, you know, that ability to move the entire joint force globally across transoceanic distances at a time and place of our choosing. We can do it in peacetime and we can do it in war. And uh, I think that it's probably underappreciated. Maybe, maybe it should be in some ways. I mean, we're, we just stay out of, uh, out of the limelight per se, but what we do is enormously important. Um, but the secret weapon here is by far the people, the people who are so professional and so devoted to what they're doing. They love their mission and uh, they find ways to say yes. Our country has a secret weapon and it's Transcom. And to the people of Transcom, I would say that what you're doing, it matters. Thank you for being great teammates. Thank you for um, your extraordinary role model and professionalism. Thank you for choosing right to serve our country um, and thank you for the difference that you make every day with your lives. Godspeed and God bless.